Alrighty then. Howdy, hey there, boys and girls. Welcome back to more Breath Edge. Totally later today, like I said last time, and, you know, not three days later. Continuing to uh, have the most consistent of streaming schedules. Absolutely. No problems. I didn't just get almost killed by allergies and spend the last few days in bed at all. It's crazy. It's crazy. So I'm supposed to make the cedar suit. I remember we died to some kind of bug. Shot? What? Oh no! Alright, so I'm almost dead now. That was kind of dumb. I almost feel like maybe I should just reload now, but I'm not gonna. Didn't realize that the military bots could follow me inside like that. And this thingy. We'll take those electronics. Oh, they... They wake back up. So fighting them is basically you not a good I idea. Have... You are here. That means death was impossible. Tell truth. All right. So here we go again. We're going to take a high position. I'm going to backtrack on that decision quickly. Oh my god, they're freaking everywhere, man. Why don't they back off when I'm in the space suit? Like, I'm in the military suit. Come on, you guys. Obviously, I'm allowed to be here. Okay. So we made it in. Take these electronics, we scan this very small spacesuit. You know what, we're just we're gonna go ahead and save it now. That way at least I don't have to do this part over. Well, I was gonna go straight up, but then I got stuck on the seat. Go up and around, avoid them as much as possible. Alright. So now... What we need to do is get back on the bike. Do I have any gas with me? I have lots. Go ahead and gas up the, the bike. There. Hmm. 
And then we go down here and scan this thingy. What was that marker? Looks like that's something I've already done, but I'm gonna go check it out, because I don't remember. Communications. Okay. So that, oh, that marker is just the engineering ships that have processors and oxygen in them, I think. Still don't remember what that was. Where did that task icon go? Yeah, this is where we got the better scrap, the middle scrapper that's no longer relevant since we now have the infinite scrapper. I mean, wait till my air is full before I haul off and leave. There. That's one of the things I actually need. To do. So let's go to that. And remind ourselves what the heck's going on. Find a passage into the module. Didn't I do that already? We already blew the... Did I lose that much progress from that, from that glitch? Surely not. Surely I don't have to bust into the bio module again. Let's come back over here real quick. Let's see about making the better space. What's this big floating thing out here? Did I ever look at this? It's nothing. Alright. I look at this. Yeah, nothing is not popping any information. Okay. Alright, so I need to go. Where the heck did it go? There, that's where I need to go. Okay. So, let us double check. To make the cedar spacesuit. Four aluminum, four lead paint, two titanium, and two rolls of fat. Let's see. That's one fabric. So I've got one roll of fabric. A 
I've got the titanium. Actually, did I? I never. I never took these. I knew I'd, I did that for a reason. It was totally on purpose and not coincidental at all. Get all the fabric out of this thing. All right. So two rolls of fabric. So what was my my problem? Child's gonna be the aluminum, right? I need four aluminum. And I'm pretty sure I have... Uh, I have one. Yeah, just one. So we're going to need to go out and mine some of the aluminum. Do I still have a drill? I do. Well, first, let's go get the lead paint. We'll keep an eye out on the rocks, just in case I see aluminum along the way. Hi, Macy. Alright, so... We gotta fly out over here. I'm sure that equipping the Cedar spacesuit is probably another lower radiation thing. for paint. That's two lead. Nice, right, so that's four lead. Is there any paint floating around or do I only get the stuff with the drill? That looks like paint floating around, but it doesn't look like I can do anything with it, unfortunate. I'm seeing eyeballs in the paint. That was weird. Uh-oh, is there any paint left out here? Did I drain all the compartments already? That sure would be awkward. Ah, no, here we go. This has paint. But that means I'm running low on drill again, too. And then I dropped my drill instead of... Okay, where'd the drill go? Where'd it go? There it is. Thankfully, I didn't need to use it, though. There we go. We got enough paint off. That was just floating around. Link, please don't. Please don't touch the wires. I'm gonna put that away before I accidentally destroy my bike. We're gonna... Well, we're not gonna head back. We're gonna look for more aluminum deposits. Don't stop the cat from touching the computer. That's no, you're touching it again. If you want my lap, you can come sit here, but you don't get to touch the computer wires. I don't understand this new obsession you have with the computer wires. Please make it stop. Alright, let's see here. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. I just need 
a little bit more a little bit. I look in here before oh, there's a bunch of things to smash in here so let's let's go smash them all. maybe they all get lucky I didn't I didn't get lucky but I'll take all those light bulbs anyway oh I have to see it all right Let's see here. Any mine deposits along the way would just be fantastic, you know? Would be amazing. If you could just, you know, have the aluminum in a place where I can get to it. And then stop having me need so much dang aluminum. Stop in for air. We'll go ahead and make the lead paint. All right, so we got the lead paint. We just need four aluminum. But well, technically, I guess we only need three. I've got one. So we need three more aluminum. And we're good to go. I've got everything else I need. Oh, is that. Or is that just ice? No, it's just ice. Uh, also ice, yeah. That, well, that's not aluminum, that's alkali. Hmm. That looks like aluminum, because it is. So now I need my drill. All right, we broke the drill, but we have aluminum now. Where did I leave the... There it is. Aha. Well, I checked out this crazy little ship part right out here. Doesn't look like I have... Oh, no, I did. This was... Yeah, I opened that safe already and got the... That stuff that I used to make the gun and something else that I made. Uh, 
Let's uh, zip down here to refill the air real quick. Now I can make the cedar suit. And then I will be up to date on my current equipment unlocks. And it'll probably lower the radiation, I think. I'm pretty sure that, that was, that'll be 4 out of 6, because otherwise I don't know why else I went in there. That seems to be the only reason that we went into the military base, was to get the blueprints for a few of the building parts, but since as of yet those don't seem to be necessary, in fact, they seem to be extravagant and unnecessary, but... Alright, so we have the aluminum, I have the paint, I have the two rolls of fabric, I just need to grab the titanium. There we go. And we make the cedar space suits. We pet this dog that came in here. My shadow. Yeah. We equip. The new suit won't reduce the core's activity, but will increase your radiation resistance, which is equivalent. Almost. Of all the potential of the cedar spacesuit, you managed to use only its improved material for the lining, but even this is enough to increase your chances of survival. Well, alrighty then. So we have, uh, I was correct. Hi, Flower. What you doing, babe girl? You gonna lick the microphone? That doesn't, I don't think they want to hear you lick the microphone. Silly girl. My goodness. Alright. Anywho's. So I have to pound passage into the module. What module is it talking about? Because I'm pretty sure we did... We already got into the bio module. I'm pretty sure I did not lose progress on that. If I remember correctly, I definitely did that before I went into the... Uh, the military base. I have already... Cleared all the cow mutants and whatnot. Now let's roll up here real quick, as I'm forgetting where the hole is to get back down here, apparently. Huh? Wait. No, it's not there. But what about that? Is this something important? It is not. Okay. I really gotta stop smacking my bike onto the bumps. Definitely more stuff that way closer that I'll still have to check out. Huh. But I'm starting to get the idea that I need to be inside this rock, and that I should have gone through the usual cave system instead of coming out here and assuming I would fly over that one hole again. So 
So if I remember correctly, the hole is not too far from up right above that oxygen. I think this is it right here. It's looking like a possible hole. But is that the hole that is the goal? So it is. Alright, so we can stop over here to get some oxygen. Alright, so we have air. Now, we go check this thing out. I don't remember there being a quest marker down here, but... The service airline. To be more precise, this was the service airlock. Unfortunately, now it's gone. But if you scan how its system works and get the necessary tools, we could try to repair it to depressurize the doors. Dispenser required. Well, I have a dispenser, don't I? I do. <laughs> Module isn't select. Oh. Uh, let's see. Airlock. I don't have... Now do I need the airlock, the corridor airlock, or the small airlock? Either way, I gotta go get some titanium, it looks like. Well, let's, uh, hop back on the bike. At least now we know what we're after. Link, please stop doing that to my desk. I'm about to have to remove a cat. Thank you. Is it that hard to just lay down and behave for a minute? Like, come on. Stop touching the wires. Stop. Get your claws out of the computer. Oh my god. Oh my god, you got your claw stuck in the damn vent. This is why I keep telling you to stop touching it. Okay. You're gonna hurt yourself. Flower, stop. Flower, come back here. Don't chase the cat. Flower, come here. Come on. Come on. Leave him alone. We're going to close the door. You can hang out out there and be an emotional mess on his own for a minute. Almost lost his freaking claw in my computer because he panicked. Thankfully, the wolf is now guarding the door. So I don't have to deal with him for a minute. He can go be a mess outside. That's not where the titanium is.
That's the way I take. Where'd I put all the water? Do I just have ice? Oh, I do. All right, drink those, get back to full water. Eat one of these steaks, and we're good. Do I need a construction kit? I'll grab one just in case. Wait, there they were. Aha. Into the rock again. I'm going to need to make another drill. I forgot. I hope I don't specifically need a drill inside this building for whatever reason. I would also very much like to have uh, infinite versions of all of the tools now. It's all well and good that I don't lose the scrapper anymore, but I keep running out of scanners and drills, and it's also annoying. Well, at least I find out there was a reason other than building the supposedly, possibly optional base for this thing. We need airlock, and what if I just hit reconstruct? Module isn't selected. Okay, fine. So airlock, confirm. Small airlock required. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, actually, it uh, literally changes nothing. It requires Almost the exact perfect. amount of However, parts. your biometric data shows a fit of acute frustration with the visual implementation of the construction system that doesn't match the given developer's promises and screenshots. The Breath Edge Agency is trying to take care of its customers' mental health, therefore I have to start stimulating your brain to create visual hallucinations. Ah, good. Looks more attractive now, but there may be some side effects that are not worth paying attention to. So I uh, made that with cardboard. The power of the unicorn. You need to find the central interphone. If there's anything left undamaged there, and you don't try fixing it, then we have a chance. All right. So here we go. Gravity. Try to unclog the ventilation. A grabber. I still have a grabber. I was correct. The brains clogged the ventilation. Now the security system should shut down, which will allow you to unlock the door manually from inside. A large brain, almost smooth. Seems like the owner of this piece of grab manner attempted to ram the airlock in outer space. Doesn't look too appetizing to eat it, but at the same time it doesn't look too disgusting to throw it away. Ooh. Sure, I guess we'll take it. All oh, right, this we we came in through there before, but it was blocked. So now we can come in. A detailed plan of the service module. If you find the missing information, you can create such a module yourself. Who knows for what purpose? First aid kit, nice. Before using such water, it's recommended to boil it first and then pour it out. Interesting. It gave me a bunch of honey and ice. Lols. 
Probably shouldn't have picked all that up, honestly. Take these, though. Uh, we can drop those. Ooh. Yeah, that didn't work out, did it? Oof. Okay, so... This wasn't the way we wanted to go. Here Observation we are. Observation post was broken before the crash. All the records are missing. Looks like a diversion. Seems like during the crash, they smashed their heads against the console, which now appears to be non-functional. It's a shame that airbags are not provided in spaceships. Well. Oh, uh, good. More, more carrots to smoke. Excessive consumption of carrots can cause irreparable harm to health, like everything else excessive. Do not eat carrots in public places. Passive carrot eating can be dangerous. Throw carrot bits only in designated areas. Do not propagate rats. Some all carrots with a filter. Usually they're just kept in the mouth. Sometimes they're chewed on. The soft core is pressed directly into the mouth or into the lungs, as luck would have it. Quite a strange pastime, for sure. Carrot a day keeps the dentist away. I'm pretty sure we had that back at home. Unlike modern radios scattered throughout the area, this one uses outdated technology that even you can reproduce, probably. So plastic. The interphone is out of order, which is to be expected from a commonplace indie video game where the main gameplay is based on... Oh, wait, it actually is in order. However, communications are down and the antenna needs to be fixed. Again. Hi. Need to fix the antenna. All right. You need a special pass, which is issued only to employees of the liner. Joke's on you. I have an infinite scrapper. Even unlock destructor. The antenna miraculously remained intact. You may start debugging, but where's the antenna? I wanted to use the audio file from the first chapter to reduce the cost of development. Mm. Looks like it wasn't the antenna that caused the problem, but these broken wires. You need to deal with it. All right. Use the chicken. I don't think it'll help. Use the repair tool. I don't think it'll help. Come on now. I don't think it'll help. I don't think it'll help. I don't care that you don't think it'll help. It's helping. The wires problem is solved. Try to catch a signal from Normandy. The green universe was here. It's too stupid, even for green universe radicals. Examine access code bluebell. Bypass the defense, take the records, assist the object as much as you can. A note for one of the green universe radicals. I wonder what help you provided and what subject like you found the one responsible for the missing records from the observation post. Although the corpse is here, the records are missing, which is not quite logical. No power. All right. I guess that was all we were doing in here. Someone can hear us. This is the crew of the funerary shuttle Normandy. We've got some water food and a cool captain who's even radiation proof. Our shuttle is damaged a bit, but the captain's trying to fix it. You can hear us and want to get rescued. We are waiting for you with these coordinates. It's amazing that they are alive. Even with a serious decrease in the core's activity, it still must be extremely uncomfortable there. Encrypted tape required. I see some activity. Is this your connection with Normandy? You remember that there you'd likely get violence, get eaten and killed, and perhaps not in such an order. Don't fly there, please. Have you ever heard of cannibalism among astronauts? Even if you take into account your excessive consumption of water and food, resorting to this would not be easy. So that's how it actually works. How interesting. Encrypted tape. I have an encrypted tape that I jacked from one of the coffins, right? Oh, 
Oh, now it's gonna make me build the the service module. Oh no. Okay. Okay, get back on the bike. So now I have to build the service box. But I still haven't found the, the last steering wheel that I need. Did I ever check this one for a steering wheel? I remember finding the bike here and then getting super excited and flying all over the place. No, there's no steering wheel in there, it doesn't look like. Well, I'll go in and double check, but... Yeah, I don't see anything of a usable fashion. Check out over here where he crashed. But continues of no. Do I have my magnetic thing with me? I do. I could just take an encrypted tape from this thing. It was empty. So I didn't get the encrypted tape. Wow. Um, well. Never mind then. I'm pretty sure I have an encrypted tape. Back at base. I feel like I found it and stuck it in a box. That sounds super familiar. But I'll check this one just in case. It was empty. Pretty sure I need to fly around out here a little more. The fourth steering wheel is surely nearby somewhere. Alright, so let's see here. I see the encrypted tape here. No. Did I put it in here, maybe? Or am I crazy? It's entirely possible that I remember finding an encrypted tape and not actually doing anything with it for reasons. Hmm. All right, well, I'll just assume that I don't have one. So it wants me to build a service module. What is a Kinetron? Knowledge about Kinetron is limited to my childhood memories of me throwing them at the wall. I remember my grandpa explained how they work and what kind of current they rectify, but I don't listen to him carefully. 
I hope if you just plug them into the right sockets, nothing bad will happen. Still need that one more steering wheel piece. I need to go find it. I feel like I have to have it. What is... So... Your station becomes so huge the game starts setting. This is the compartment for you. Well, I need three construction kits. And we'll go up here. Into this big open space. Gonna build this thing. Build an airlock for the station. Did I get all my. I get all the stuff back? No, I didn't. Shit, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, load autosave. Okay. All right. So what do I need for the airlock? Aluminum and titanium, which I no longer have aluminum, and I don't have a drill to get more aluminum. Where's drill? And I need a battery. means I need metal. I make that suitcase before for refined metal oof that's a lot of refined metal to have to use yeah before I build a service model We've got a couple more blips to check out. Let's go check out those various blips. Okay, this one's the closest.
Okay. Now what, oh what, oh what, is this symbol right here talking about? Also, is this anything? Can I go on this tube thing? On such old docking airlocks, there must be some detailed information on how to assemble, maintain, and repair them. Probably. Shuttle airlock. Nice. But I'm literally down to one scan on my scanner again. Dang it. I'm gonna have to go back and make another scanner now. Looks like the mail tanks were only on the port side. There's a chance to find something here that can be launched. I have no idea who would need that amount of mail in space, but we need to find a way to get this whole thing into the liner's core to reduce its activity. Why is it moving? It's definitely p moving. I don't like it. It would be useful to have a powerful soil analyzer with the function of deep scanning, which is usually used by biologists and treasure hunters. I good thing I actually have that thing. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Okay, I'm using up the durability of it. Let's, uh... Fly through all the mayo balls. Nothing of it. A very odd composition, but apparently this mayo doesn't want to freeze. There's also no danger to the spacesuit's material, but I'm not sure it's reasonable to stay here with such visibility. In addition, the composition's density prevents you from moving quickly. Nothing of interest. Still not interesting, huh? Can I get out? Wait, how big is this gunk ball? This is like some sort of dimensional warping mayonnaise. Like, jeez. Sticky magazine. Top free prefabricated models. Seems like it's not mayonnaise. Oh, no, don't tell me that. Oh, God. He was in the toilet, masturbating to a car magazine. Oh, no. My inventory's literally full now. There's got to be a reason to be in here. It's far too elaborate for just a joke about it being a giant ball of jizz. Come on. This is working autonomous oxygen station. It is. What's a working oxygen station? Over here? Underpants stained with paint. Judging when the paint stains, the owner of these underpants was pushed from behind. Who did it? Why did they do it? Where did they push the owner and have the underpants get severed in the body? Well, made a mystery forever. All right. Okay. 
Okay, so I just, I guess I should analyze all of them separately. Nothing of interest. Okay. What a strange place, but maybe we can find something useful here. Well, here goes my last scan. The Zaz one. Blueprint part one of three. The Zaz. So there's a better vehicle than my scooter. I can get a space car. But now I'm out of scans. Uh, this. The victim may have tried to press the barbell with his Adam's apple, but this presumption may not be accurate. <clears throat> well, I have my repair tools still. So let's go ahead and fix the air. Fill up on oxygen. Mr. Olympus. Last bodybuilders of the century. The limitation of protein foods lack necessary pharmacology and unified clothing sizes managed to defeat even such sturdy guys. He's injecting himself with stuff. Before and after. Uh, this was his, his workout guide over here. Oh, I can scan that? Oh, no. Alright, we gotta go make scanners. What do I need for scanners again? Metal, battery, plastic, light bulb. I have lots of light bulbs. Oh god, I went into the infinite jizz bubble. There's gotta be something hidden in the jizz bubble, though. Like... What about this? This looks different. I don't think I came in on this side. Is there a way into whatever this look module looking thing is? Uh, it looks like it's just a thruster. And it doesn't look like it connects to anything. And this is where the guy died with his magazine and his shame. Is this really all there is in here? As a guy who masturbated to cars so much that he exploded into space in a giant bubble of his own leavings. Also, what was the point of me making the analyzer? Because now I'm just kind of confused as to why I bothered with it. Oh wait, here's more. Oh wow, well, before I before I literally fly away from the oxygen tank, I should probably fill up since I have less than 20 left. Yeah, get your get your ominous music in. How's the steering wheel hunt? It is not successful. I uh, continue to not find that, that fourth steering wheel. Almost as frustrating is I don't know uh, how badly I even need that fourth steering wheel, but I assume I have to have it. Plus, now I'm distracted with these giant uh, 
I am not sure about the composition of modern mayo products, and therefore I advise you to be careful. Their current physical properties are unknown. Maybe that was a hint that this is the one I need to... Nothing of interest. Nope. Go into these weird pocket dimensions full of mayonnaise. Oh my god. The lack of cheap, tasty space food forces people to conduct culinary experiments are strictly prohibited on spaceships. You can try to pick off some pieces of meat, but the fate of the chef does not quite inspire to do that. Oddly enough, the death resulted from an acute allergic reaction to an unknown substance. The Breath Edge Funeral Agency strongly recommends using only approved food products in order to determine the cause of your death more accurately. Nothing of interest. Okay, so this one is not, uh, what I need to scan. Let's get out of this mayonnaise dimension. Ugh. Alright. Let's get back on the bike, if I can help it. There we go. I am now curious, though, if, uh... If I can find that new vehicle... The cost of Breath Edge Agency funerals is the lowest on the market of funeral services. However, some people still prefer to bury their relatives in a slipshod manner. Wow. I am curious now if that other vehicle that I can make won't let me run out of... O if it has its own oxygen, because it's a closed vehicle. And that would be a massive, massive upgrade. Can I go in here? Is this one? It's moving. Nothing of interest. Okay, well, it's not. Do I have to go one one set deeper? Nothing of interest. No, nope, that's still nothing. No, it seems to just be the rock on the inside. Hmm. Alright, let me out of here. I want out! That's not out! It's a wall! Just, just fly straight to the bike. Surely there was, no there was nothing between me... And this bike. Ugh. Okay. All right. Someone tried to take a bath in a drinking boiler without reading about the emergency water pumping system starting when waste gets into it. Both were sucked into death. The water contains alkaline detergents and aromatic salts. Can't be cleaned. It's a rubber duck. Someone forgot to add information about it. The space you can find this description in written sources. This is a ritualistic object of the water cult. <laughs> Ooh. That didn't go well for that guy. All right. No, I need the scanner. Gotta build a scanner before I go anywhere else. I've already missed out on equipment. Plus, now I'll probably find the steering wheel all of a sudden, now that I can't scan it, you know? That seems exactly like what would happen. For instance, I'm about to fly into this strange rock with a ship crashed in it right here. We're gonna find out that this was where it was the Looks whole time. Looks like there was a fight here. Judging by the tracks, two attackers knocked their opponent to the ground and tried kicking him for a long time, after which the victim died of old age as the attackers missed every time. <laughs> I'll need this metal. Uh. Hmm. A 
I'll probably need this alkali. Might as well. Oh, inventory full. I'm gonna have to make another inventory thing. Or just scatter things around the, the base, you know, whatever's necessary. Zoom. Uh oh. I'm gonna run out of ox. Well, I'm gonna have to use this. Let me just get distracted real quick and find a little bit more stuff to check out just in case. Oh, did I just find it? Is this it right here? Oh no, this was where I learned how to make the explosive beef. That's right. Unfortunately, there was no steering wheel here. So I just need to make some scanners. I gotta deal with my inventory issue. And then I guess we go back to Mayo Land and find out what's going on there. Okay. So. I will need a battery. There's a battery. I just need some plastic. Surely I have one piece of plastic. I sure do. Yeah. Okay. Now, I gotta do something about all this inventory. Okay, that one's full. There's the encrypted tape. I knew I had this in here somewhere. Okay, so now we're going to take the encrypted tape that I knew I wasn't freaking crazy about, and we're going to go and deal with that real fast. This looks like it's actually renewable resources. That's good to know. That the garbage bots just randomly collect things that I can keep collecting out here. It'd be nice if it involved aluminum, but I'm pretty sure it probably won't. Ha <laughs> 
Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Alright. So we show up here. Because now I can go in here. And then I can use this encrypted tape that I have. You already know these coordinates. Ah. Did that use up that encrypted tape? I sure hope I don't need one of those somewhere else. I guess I had the option to use that or the scanner. Oh, that's kind of lame. Is there a way out on this end? No. Wait, unless... Oh, I can go out the bottom. Check this spot out. I feel like this is cusping on the uh, the area that used to be radioactive, too radioactive for me. But between the suit and the other three things I did to lower the radiation, I actually come out a little farther than before. Let's see. Or is this just another spot for paint all the way out here? It looks like that is in fact what it is. Alright then. <coughs> well, we're starting to get radioactive out here again. Alright, got two things to go scan that we know of. And I still have to go to that marker. And we still got to check out all these bubbles of mayo. <clears throat> Alright, here I go. It would be useful to have a powerful soil analyzer with the function of deep scale. Nothing of interest. Is there ever going to be anything of interest in any of these? Looks like this one's just up against the wall. <coughs> Alright. Still nothing to check out. 
I would like to be out now, please. Can I please leave the mayonnaise pocket dimension? <laughs> Is there any any portion of the mayonnaise pocket dimension that allows me to leave anymore? Here we are, I think. Blah. All right. Sit down. Wait a minute. There seems to be something glowing right there. Is there actually a reason to be here? No. It's a reflection from something else. Place, but maybe we can find something useful here. Exhibition stand. Right. Light bulbs, shears. Oh, I actually got a tool out of it. Holy crap. Now I want to break all those now, instead of just some of them. Might as well fill up the gas, there we go. Uh, let's go get the oxygen that's over here. Plus, one of those things I needed to scan is right here. Six signal from Intech to Rod. Maybe there's a car there. Fly it straight to Florida State, everyone, of course. a lot of stuff that I don't think I need to make. Oh geez, is this one of the ones I... This will be one of the ones I have to analyze, I bet. There must be some control systems inside. If the airlock isn't damaged, then we need to find it. Get into the tank, start the engine, somehow leave before it starts, and hope that when flying away, the tank will collect at least some part of the flowing spilled mayo. Solids detected. Solids detected. Oh, there's actual ice in here, okay. airlock seems to be attacked seems like the gas coming into the mayo doesn't let it freeze i have a feeling that something is wrong with this mayonnaise apart from the inconsistency of its composition overly complex technologies are used to transport such biological debris although all the tanks are specified as mayonnaise ones in all the invoices related to the liner uh-huh because nobody ever lies on an invoice or anything this vacuum cleaner is called Rocket for a reason. With it having such a powerful engine, it is really possible to fly it if you bypass some technical limitations. Alright, we know how to make the thing we've had forever. That would be way more exciting if I hadn't, you know, found the intact one and been using it this whole time. Someone clearly overestimated the value of the mayonnaise, allocating an autonomous tank for it equipped with an auto flight system. Although, considering our situation, it's a great opportunity to launch it without any problems by fixing one of the engines and disengaging the tank from the module. Unbelievable. This is... heaven knows what. But it's certainly not a simple tank for storing food products. 
Is this some sort of mayonnaise reactor? What the hell's going on here? Is there a way back here? I assume I have to get into the reactor somehow. I must have missed. Oh, here we are. Okay. Well, we've uh All data indicate that the mayonnaise is not mayonnaise, and the tank was an integral part of the systems of the lighter unnamed. We have to start the centrifuge, even just out of scientific interest. Okay, let me make sure there's not anything else here I need to grab before I launch this crazy mayonnaise reactor into space. To Comrade Zobov, the commander's order, stop the liner unnamed at point 15 and await further instructions. Genuine evidence of Green Universe is being involved in the disaster, although there's no order stating about blowing oneself up together with the entire liner. The data analysis on the crash of the liner and the nature of the damage allows us to state with great confidence that the damage caused to the bio tanks by the abruptly stopped centrifuge was one of the causes of the liner's depressurization and its ejection from the warp. These data confirm the possible involvement of the Green Universe in the disaster. Alright. Launch camp. Looks like we need to go outside and check the tank engines. Okay. Well, let's go hop to that, shall we? All right, this game just keeps getting weird. Transport module. The regular transport module. All right. I'm I'm learning all these blueprints for base building before I even worry about building the base. You know, except of course for uh you know words. Words, what were my words? The steering wheel. Oh my god. My brain. Brain no more work. One of six engines scanned. Oh, you're gonna make me scan six things? That's a low blow, man. Like, the scanner's just so breakable. Small modern engines can do without burning fuel, which is much safer. Five out of six. There's six. I know how to make maneuver engines now. I have a construction kit. That's not the thing that I need, though. Dispenser. Hmm. 
Tube corridor. Oh, maybe I don't have to. Maneuver engine required. Oh, oh, damn it, I forgot that I'm... Not in a place where I have air. Damn it. Just blew a candle on nothing. Didn't need to do that. That was annoying. Alright, how do I make a maneuver engine? Get into where there's oxygen. <sighs> okay, and now we'll go look. A real engine for a spaceship. In theory, it could be strapped to your back if you fly much faster, but in practice, it's better not to do that. Generator, two plastic, compensator, and titanium. So I have to go make that. I still need this third, fourth. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'm done here for the moment. Until I uh, have made that device, I can't replace that engine. And we're gonna zip on down here real quick. Scan this refrigerator. Okay. And we're gonna zip around to some other random places. See if we can't find anything else interesting. Here's more places to get lead paint. No, this is where I got the infinite scrapper. Okay, we've been over here. I guess we can check out this other question mark. What is up with this other Nothing. key? These are obsolete, although they come in quite handy in case of emergency evacuation. <sighs> Alright, we'll break some more stuff. Plastic, light bulb, scissors. Oxygen's still not unlimited. Scrapper, I don't need those anymore. Um, pop one of those, take one back. Alright, well there was nothing in there except that blueprint.
Yeah, is there anything else out here worth checking out? Let's save it right here before I fly into this the fiery hell zone looking for something to do. So I'm dying out here. Not seeing anything worth uh, coming out here for. Okay. Hmm. Enlightening. Just a bunch of crazy health hazards for no particular purpose other than to kill me and make me sit through this loading screen again. You lie again. You are here. That means death was impossible. Tell truth. Confirm. Yes, yes. Okay. I've been to this ship before, right? Surely I have. It does look like it has a steering wheel in it. But I'm pretty sure I've already been in it and skipped it. Yeah, this is the scrapper one again. Dang it. I'm never gonna find that steering wheel. And then come to find out later, I don't need it, and I'm wasting my time looking for it. Well, let's go check this marker out, and then I guess I'll go make the engine and build the service module. Assuming I can make it all the way out here, though. This is... is that the Death Star? That's no moon. That's a moon. The radiation is starting to build up. I'm still supposed to launch stuff at the blue thing. Let's check out this Death Star, because it looks like I can get here now. Hey, it looks like I can get to whatever that is, too. It's an extremely unsafe place. I can't even use my main systems, only the built-in processor, which is perfectly protected for power surges, but is not able to count to ten without errors. Okay, we're going to save it. And then we're going to fly. This is an energy core of the Red Edge Company. I don't know who transported such. All right. That was not the answer. You lie again. You are here. That means death was impossible. Tell truth. Confirm. You know, I just realized... I thought they were just goofy-looking robots with thick, weird, boxy builds... Those are coffins. This is an energy core of the Breath Edge Company. I don't know who transported such technologies on the liner and for what purpose it was done, but now it's easy to explain the presence of electromagnetic anomalies. By the way, I don't recommend turning off the active core. It will most likely lead to unpleasant consequences. Is there any way in there other than the death trap? Aha! Oh, 
now the door is locked. Well, it's... Okay, I can't smash it. So much for that plan. I'm gonna run out of air out here again, though. That's fun. I should uh, probably have stopped in somewhere. Instead, I'm gonna have to use another candle. Okay. Alright, well, let's, uh, I don't know that I have any way to get into that right now, so let's check out over this one. I need to become as immortal as my chicken. That way I can go through all the electricity. Ooh, I may not be able to make it over here. Keep an eye on that radiation meter. halfway on the radiation. If I'm not mistaken, there's an accelerating transport station ahead. Apparently, they plan to use it for the evacuation of Normandy, although it's hardly possible to do that. These stations help small spaceships gain initial acceleration when departing from the liner, but they are of no use for long-distance flights. Um, but I can't be here. I haven't lowered the radiation enough. Well, that's annoying. Alright, so coming out here was a mistake. I guess I just need to make the... I need to build the service module, and I need to uh, repair that in. Those, I just need to do those two things. Actually, I may have uh, broken... I'll just reload back here, yeah, because my stop radiation thing went away. That's the area I'm supposed to go when I don't have the radiation. This is an energy core of the Breath Edge Company. I don't know who transported such technologies on the liner and for what purpose it was done, but now it's easy to explain the presence of electromagnetic anomalies. By the way, I don't recommend turning off the active core. It will most likely lead to unpleasant consequences. Can't do it anyway. I don't know how to get inside. But for now, I should make my space station somewhere out here. I need to get one of those cups. <coughs> Ugh! Voice quit working. Need to make one of those those cars, but I still have to scan two more of those. Hmm. 
Alright. Hmm. Hey dude, what did you do with your steering wheel? Why could you have just had a steering wheel right here so I could have been done with that task? Freezing danger. Well, let's get out of here. This is where we launch the cow-powered rocket. We don't really need to go back in there for anything that I'm aware of. Pretty sure I examined everything I needed to for Okay. So. So a service module. I can just make the small one. I don't need to use up all my construction kits. Because even the descriptions say the large ones aren't necessary. I'll make the medium service module. That seems... That only takes two kits. That doesn't seem unnecessary. Build an airlock. All right, so an airlock, I need aluminum and titanium. Do I have any aluminum left? I know we've got titanium. One aluminum left. Where did I do? Did I? I didn't use all the titanium. Did I? No, I have one. Oh, I don't have. I don't have enough left to do anything else though. So we're gonna have to uh, grab a little bit of titanium. But that's fine. All right. So we have that. Hello. Okay. I don't know what this is for. Alright, uh, 
Why is it that it's the same as this massive mega thing? Well, whatever. I can't uh, can't make it anyway, so we're just gonna make a regular airlock. Build an oxygen generator. I need an inductor and more aluminum, damn. Check for aluminum around here, just in case. Looks like consumed alkalis. I know I'm gonna use an awful lot of aluminum for a resource that doesn't seem to be easily replenishable. into the engineer's ship. Okay, so I need... I just need the inductor now. Okay, so to make an inductor... I also need a generator and a compensator. Rubber, resident titanium. Okay, so I can make those pretty easily. I need metal and two wires for the inductor. Do I have metal and two wires? I have metal. And I have two wires. Okay, so we'll make the inductor. There's that. That's just now realizing that I think I saw one of those in one of the... Yep, didn't have to do that. Oh well. Because now I can make an oxygen generator. We'll go up to my impromptu space station over here. to build a power generator. See, the overall oxygen level is constantly rising. It's not your fault. You're not open to some valve, not create new oxygen debris. You do not want to blow us all up. She really doesn't want me to build the space station. What do I need for the power generator? I need a generator and two more titanium. Let's grab up some titanium. Titanium that came out of it, just two? Alright. Grab some more metal, more titanium, more metal. Don't need the ice right now. Titanium! That ice. It is, I didn't need to hit that. Alright. What do we get out of those again? 
That's how we get the electronics, that's right. Let's just keep smacking up titanium for now. Okay, I have lots of titanium again. So let us go see what I need to make a generator. I need wire, which I have. Not there, though. Right there. So we will make a generator. And what else did I need now? Uh, nothing, that was it. So we make the power generator. Kind of interference I hear. What do you do? You repair something? It is not is not it a ship? Don't leave without me. Now I must build a research table, huh? What do I need for a research table? I need two tape and three aluminum. I only have two aluminum. I'm gonna have to find some more aluminum. Which means I'm gonna need the vehicle. Let's get the look in, shall we? Y'all have not just, like, put aluminum all over the place for me. Like, come on. You need me to make it, use it for everything. And then you just don't give me any. It'd be one thing if it was replenishable somewhere. But it's, like, not. All those spots I've already dug up stay dug up. And they continue to not provide me with more resource. Too much realism. Don't need it. Huh? Did I just... I swear to God, it just... There was an aluminum deposit that was there. Oh, it is there. It, like, just... It unloaded as soon as I looked at it, just so I couldn't see it. The game's playing mind games with me. You can hear me complaining. Okay, we've got aluminum again. Go park real quick. So what do I need again? Uh, oh, I, have, I need electric tape? We have that, don't we? That's one. That's two. Alright, so I can make the research tape. I don't need to waste gas going back and forth. At least do this quickly. Research the electrical engineer spacesuit. So I have a processor. Use the research table. So, scraper. Professional for scraping off dyed chewing gum on any surface, including hair. When it comes to hair, the scraper turns to a professional tool for removing it by gentle scalping. Interesting. Military oxygen cylinder. Four electronics, two compensators, and two generators. Soft modern valve will still allow you to fill it with enough air. Okay, so I want to do that. 
when working with electricity, it's not just enough to wear rubber gloves, especially if you're messing with the liner's energy cores. I remember Grandpa put on such foil even when the risk of being exposed to radiation was very low. So I wouldn't risk going near any engine on a giant liner without such a suit. The engineering space suit. Service on large spaceships always engaged in a variety of work, from the repair of the reserve combustion engine during its work to the emergency elimination of a hole in the ship in outer space. That is why they try to protect engineering space from everything, especially from strong temperatures. Heat and cold are felt equally unpleasant in the suit, but it's not fatal. Ah. So I have two different suits. The Zaz-1 vehicle. The famous Zaz space car is the first and only miniature spacecraft at the moment that is capable of being in space for a long time with passengers inside it. Beautiful, reliable, and efficient as rubber boots. Two breath edge energy cores, two compensators, two lycoplasma, two generators. A bribe! So I need fabric and lead paint. Fabric and lead paint. Four electronics, two compensators, and two generators. What do I need to make the bed? The bed would be nice. Two rolls of fabric. Okay. Well, I need lots of electronics now, so I guess I'm going to start drilling these things for electronics. Ugh, if only they gave me the infinite drill already. right there? Uh, yes it is. It's so much aluminum that I couldn't even get it all. Alright, so what do I need? Hey, I can make this thing. Let's go do that since I can do it. Let's 
starting to think that I should not have trusted the game and just made the large transport module because I feel like I'm already going to run out of space here in a minute. I made the improved communications. I don't know that that accomplished anything, but I did it. Oh, it made my power and oxygen better. Not something I necessarily needed at this moment, though. What I did need to do, specifically, it wants this. So I need two aluminum, a roll of fabric, and lead paint. I'm going to have to go find more fabric. I'm going to also probably stand to make more gas for the bike. But unfortunately for now, I think I'm going to have to stop. So we're going to have to leave off with our new half-built space station, and that's going to be where we call it for today. I will see y'all next time.